Hey guys, your friendly neighborhood Canadian here, Hyena TGA, and today we're going to be doing the Silent Assassin suit only in Santa Fortuna, uh, three-headed snake or serpent. Uh, so we're just going to be bring along any gun, uh, basically your default items is all we need. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to bring along a lockpick instead. Uh, so we'll be bringing along a lockpick there, starting off in the village bus stop. Uh, this is on master difficulty, so uh, let's hit play. Okay, so we're just going to cause a little bit of panic here. We're going to take out our gun, aim down the middle there, shoot at the door basically. And Martinez is going to kind of like get a little freaked out and run. So now there is a camera right there, but if you hug the right hand side here, you'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna go through this little gate here and then jump over that little hole in the wall. Or we where the top's missing. Okay. Crouch. Make your way through the bushes here and into this window. And we're just gonna go tamper with the wall switch. And then we're gonna take our gun out, shoot the uh, whoops, What's shoot the plug in, and then shoot the uh, water cooler. And then make our way out the way we came in. And that takes care of our first kill. So now we're going to make our way back down to where the tunnel is. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot about the camera, but uh, just try and run to the wall first and then, and then make your way over this side. <clears throat> Jeez. Silly, silly. We're going to jump through this little hole in the in the tunnel and just kind of go to the right a little bit, just veer off to the right a little bit and then straight and then we're going to take a left at this Y tree, <laughs> tree that looks like a Y and there's Martinez going down. We'll use our lock pick on this, this gate here. And now there's two guards that are coming up here, and we just got to make sure that these two guards are at this left-hand side, just where they're walking to right now. So once they're over there, that's fine. Um, if they're at this side, then just wait for them to walk over there. And uh, right now we're just going to come over here and we're going to climb down. Scare some parrots. You know parrots live for like 80 years. <laughs> Fun fact. Okay, so now we're going to come over here and we're just going to take out this camera. And then when we come across this bridge here, we're just going to immediately go into the bush and then just walk past these guys. Now be careful, there is a camera on that, that, uh, there's cameras all over these sheds, so, uh, we're just gonna come around, take a, like, a wide berth, just walk across here, and there's another camera on this side, so we're just gonna walk over here, kind of in the middle, and then, like, in the arc, and then we're just gonna walk across here, if you run, they they have more of a chance of uh, spotting you when you're walking across the pathways. Okay, so now that we're over here, we're going to equip our gun. There's a camera right there. Sorry, I should have showed you first. Right there. So we'll take that one out. And then we're just going to run behind this one shed here. And we're just going to come over here and tamper with the AC. And this guy's going to come out and take a look. And we're going to subdue him and throw him in that crate over there.
Now remember to take his key that he drops and we'll just toss him in the crate. And we're just gonna crouch. make our way into this uh, room here and then all we're gonna do is just jump in this crate and we're gonna wait for uh, Jorge to come in here it might take a while so I will fast forward okay so when he gets in here we're gonna just get out of the crate once he starts talking to somebody else on the CB That is Jorge Franco, the Delgado Cartel's chief chemist. And then we're just going to shoot him in the head. Franco confirmed down. Grab his nice body and toss him in the crate. And now that we've got that, um, we're on to the last guy here. So just make sure when you're coming out that. Uh, I got like that guy there. He's just facing me. He should turn around. Oh, I'm gonna jump in the crate just in case. That was a little, a little too close for comfort. So now we'll just we'll come back out and uh, go behind that shed that we were just at. We're gonna go down this uh, this little sewer or whatever it is, lock pick. And I am actually gonna make a save point here. Okay, so I'm gonna just scooch past this guy here and come over into this corner. And hang out here until he goes back down the dock uh, either way if he's down the dock there uh, you, you're safe to come by as long as he's looking through his binoculars he won't bother you once he's kind of turned the corner there we're just gonna we're gonna jump up and we're gonna crouch and run pass into the TV here and then we're just gonna go uh, over here to this side and then up if you there's that uh, cleaning lady on the other one side so here we're gonna come over to the, the concrete block and wait for the butler to kind of walk over there and then we're just gonna come into the bathroom here and turn on the tap this this tap not the other one and we're gonna turn it off and now we're just gonna we're gonna wait in the corner don't hug the wall or anything because he might just open up the door the wrong way well, this day so we'll close the door subdue him real quick and then grab his body and throw it in the closet now I'm gonna grab out another coin I'm just going to drop it there. Uh, I'm going to open the door. Throw another coin before the door closes. And then hang out in the corner again. And then close the door. Subdue. Well, and then snap his neck. So you can pick up your coins now. The only thing is you got to make sure that door is just closing at the right time. So it's to throw the coins. So we'll grab the keys as well. And then we're going to make our way out the way we came in. So we'll just hug the wall basically. And we're going to wait uh, until we can go down there. 
basically, I probably could have made it. I know I could have made it, but uh, I'm going to be a little safer this time. Wait for him to, to go by, and then I'm going to run down and make my way over to the planters. And again, that guy over there, we're just going to wait for him to get onto the dock. And then we're just going to run over here and then jump down. And then around and into the sewers again here. <clears throat> now that we're on the other side, we are going to make our way to the, the, the chopper. And there is that one guy on the, on the dock. Oh, geez, I almost forgot about the camera. <laughs> so we're going to take care of that camera. Now, that guy will finish his smoke, finish his smoke, and turn around, and start walking the other way. So we do have to wait for that. I know it looks like a lot of time, but there's a lot of people that you gotta avoid. That's why I'm gonna wait for him to finish his smoke here. I, I'm pretty sure he finishes this smoke. <laughs> pretty damn long smoke. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to take off once I grow. Yeah, right there. She started moving. So I'm going to move over this way and I'm just going to run right to the chopper. And use the exit button. There we go, guys. There's our sniper assassins or not sniper assassins. Silent assassin suit only for Santa Fortuna. That last little bit got me a little worried, but um, there's our silent assassin. Thank you guys. Make sure you remember to like, subscribe, share my videos, hit that notific notification bell if you'd like any of my future videos, and comment below. Peace.